Chinese authorities seized over 7,200 human pennies on a cargo ship from Nigeria. Wow! Guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a breaking news. Um, we are here once again to give you as it is. In Nigeria and it in viral. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being part of this channel. But please, if you've not subscribed to this channel or you are watching without subscribing, you will not be updated. The reason being that it's only when you click on that subscribe, the bell button will not pop up. Please, guys, this is the only way you can help your sister grow this channel or appreciate me for bringing the things that are happening, which medias in Nigeria refuse to carry them. They will carry this news now, except the whole world. You know, people have started, all the bloggers and YouTubers have started carrying it. That is when they will carry it. But for sure, I am bringing it to you as first hand, in, first class uh, information of what is happening in Nigeria. And this one is very huge. So just put down your hand on that red uh, a place written with red subscribe the bell button will pop up you click it in that way you will get a notification immediately i post a new video as a message that i've uploaded to my returning subscribers i'm so proud of you all god bless you guys a lot is happening this news came up yesterday but i decided to wait to you know confirm the news before i start giving it and the worst part of it is that this news has been carried by international and foreign media and coupled with Mazena the kind of coming up with it and that is when I come to realize that the news is true and it is authentic. So I cannot bring anything unverified news in this channel for you. No. Instead the news might come late to you, might, but I will make sure that I verify it before I come up with that news to you. So guys let us read in details of what Mazena de Carlo, his confirmation towards this news. But wait a minute, guys. For all along, years, Mazena de Carlo has been saying that SARS in Nigeria, they harvest people's organ. They harvest people's organ. And people thought it was, it's just, you know, something that he just made up just to frame the Nigerian government up in a bid to get Biafra. But he has been saying this personally to me. I said, how can people, you know, do that kind of a thing in a cell, guys? And so uh, yesterday, I had this news that a ship going from, uh, leaving from Nigeria to, you know, China was seized that it is being checked thoroughly. At the end of the day, Guys, what they discovered in that ship is unfathomable. How can people be that wicked? How can people kill their fellow human being? How can people do this kind of a thing and harvest people's organ on a broad daylight? And you that is listening to me, you want to be a one Nigerianist. You want to support this administration. You want to support this politician, this murderers, these people that decided that they are, the people that they are, they say they are ruling over, will not leave. I don't know what you see in supporting this every politician in Nigeria. This is SARS that was trained by Obasanjo. <laughs> at the end of the day, look at what is happening. Let us read what Mazina de Carlo has written. A confirmation of what I have been saying all along. Anything I tell you is the truth. You may argue, you may argue, or doubt it at the time. But in fullness of time, you will agree with me. I'm quoting Mazen Nandeo. Who did this to Nigerians? This is what British trained SARS was commissioned to do by Olusegun Obasanjo. This is what they have re re reduced our land to. The new organ harvesters for Chinese market is now Nigerian army. If we don't destroy them, they will destroy us. United Kingdom High Commissioner to Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, IG of Police, 
South East South South governors are all beneficiaries of these proceeds of this dastard trade. The five South East governors are beneficiary of the proceed of this evil against our people. Guys, how would human being have this kind of heart to harvest his or her fellow human being parts to do what? To sell to another person. To use it for other things. And they said 7,200 human pennies now man is finished how many is remaining if they could be getting up to this is the the number they gave us seven thousand two hundred human pennies if they can be getting it how many is remaining guys my heart is bleeding who owns these organs from which people do they cut off all these organs from from which people did they you know get these organs from and people are here talking about one nigeria people are here saying nigeria will be better till how long till how long when we people when we people learn how to stand on the truth when we people learn how to stand on the truth my heart is really bleeding oh my god oh my god people's children People's father, they are, they killed in SARS. SARS is now the the, the, the the marketer of pennies. What what an I saw. What an I saw. Oh God. Child, it is better this country is being divided. It is better this country is being divided, so that everybody will go on its own. This is so, so unacceptable. This is not un unacceptable. On which, which place did they do this kind of a thing? Which doctor did they em employ? Which nurses did they employ? And how did they preserve all these things? And be taken to China. What a wickedness. 7,200. This is what they told us. Who knows if it is higher than that? Who knows if it is higher than that? Guys. Hey. Hey. Whosoever that is supporting this administration, oh my God, it's only God that will judge you. The blood of the innocent will be crying on your ear. You will never rest until you speak out the evil. This administration is melting on innocent people of that country. Guys, my heart is bleeding. I want to wrap it up here. Guys, my heart is really, really bleeding. I don't know. I don't know. But let us just, just take a few reactions. Let's hear what people are saying before we wrap it up. Headquarters of blood sucking demon is Nigeria. Can you believe Mazen and the Kalo now? This person is asking. Can you not believe Mazen and the Kalo? Jesus. And this is what another person is saying. 7,200 pennies. Are they vipers? God, please divide Nigeria and give us ne Biafra. I am being more afraid than before. Nobody will, that is not afraid this time around. Another person said, No reasonable person or politician has Nigeria at hand. Even Buhari, right inside him, don't believe in one Nigeria. That's the reason he's developing his father's country, Niger. Nigeria is not worth dying for. Referendum is seriously needed to save our life. Another person said, uh, 7,200 men's pennies. Oh, 7,200 human being image of God. My God. <laughs> Many reasons Nigeria will never survive as country. Too bad. And this is the last one we are going to take now. Full and natural is in our forest. Has since been an exciting the opportunity to create by created by hunger, poverty occasioned by Nigeria State and the religious ritualist religious ritualist tendencies of our people. This is why the so called ritual killing increased. Nigeria, a failed British colonial experiment. It's a slaughterous and dangerous place to be. Guys, we want to wrap it up here. 
Come tell me your own opinion at the comment section. What can you make out of this situation? 7,200 men penis intercepted by China. It's all over the world. Every news outlet is carrying it. I, I had it and I am confirming it now from Martin and the Carlo. So guys, let me hear from you. What have you to say about this issue? My heart is bleeding. What about you? Come tell me your own opinion in the comment section. Please, as you comment, comment constructively. I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.